When it comes to putting stretchers into a Windsor-inspired chair like this, it's best to use an extension with a spade bit on it, and I use this tape as the center of the front hole. Now let's see how I did. I'll take the ambrosia maple stretcher, named after the ambrosia bark beetle, very beautiful, and it's going into this walnut, and of course this will eventually have glue inside of this. I brush it out on a tight mortise, 5 8 inch, just like that. And now what I need to do is get the tape out of the hole up front here, and I'm going to have to ease this leg assembly out, which is going to be a problem because this stretcher is really under compression by these legs. They're splayed out and held in place. So as I go to get this out, nope, won't do it. I have to pull the legs out first, and it's a tight fit. They aren't glued. There is an order to this, and the order is you want things to lock together because this is cross-grain expansion, meaning the grain's running this way on the leg and that way on the post. So even with good glue in there, it's going to create some challenges for that glue to stay tight. So as this all works in to those mortises, I do want it under pressure as it's tapped in perfectly. That's splaying the legs apart, so that's actually holding that stretcher in there. I'll do the same for the other side and then we'll get a look at the chair.